Stein are in the state semifinal game in Austin, trying to get back to the state championship game for the first time since 2016 on the third inning. Well, they were already up 1-0. Kaylee Bedeker sends one to the deepest part of the park, back at the wall, but it's off the top of the wall. Two runs going to score. Steiner now leading 3-0 in the third. Now Crawford did respond with two of their own. And in the fifth inning, Shiner nursing a 3-2 lead liner. Caught it short onto first and inning ending double play, but Crawford staying in the ball game. Same score in the sixth and a solo shot to left. The score all nodded at three. Madness in the state semifinal game, but it gets a whole lot crazier than that. Bottom of the seventh. Shiner with the bases loaded, nobody out, but it's a chop of the third. Crawford comes home, then onto first, and a perfect situation becomes disaster for Shiner. Or does it? The umpires call obstruction. They say the run scores because she was tripped coming home. Shiner celebrating Crawford. Absolutely livid. And while Shiner celebrates and Crawford sulks, the UIL rules committee comes on the field and overturns everything. Now Shiner coach Jason Keller is livid and they say the game must somehow go on. So with two on and two out, Peyton Vincent comes to the plate and she shoots it up the middle. Brindley Ramirez scores and the Comanches walk off into the state championship game. They will get Beckville Wednesday night trying to win their first state title since 2016. Wow.